Okay, I'm back just because I forgot something. Um, I wanted to show you guys, you ladies that are continuing on this, what I'm doing um, to get a gradient, a nice um, color that comes on into the eye. And I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I don't really use this as a concealer because I feel that as a woman of slight age, I um, don't have the lack of wrinkles that some of these young gurus have. And I haven't quite found exactly what my perfect formula would be to not have the cakey wrinkles that a lot of places on your face can get when you have them. So like I have my laugh lines here, I have one line down here, my under eye is often bad, but I do find, like I said in the beginning, um, hydrating is a very important part, keeping it well hydrated. Now this, um, like I said, my shape tape in fair, I think, yeah, fair. This is the only one that I use and it's one of the only places that I use it on because it's so thick, it just cakes on my eye. So what I'm going to do now is use my ColourPop and I want to use this ruby looking color. It says beam me up. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to use some of that and then I'm just going to pack it on and press it into where the shape tape is at. And sometimes you can use your finger as well. If you're more comfortable with your finger, use your finger, but you can pack. This one is the precious metals and so they do feel kind of like metals but sometimes with your finger or you can pack it with a brush if you don't want to get dirty which I'm I'm usually a brush person I don't like to get dirty at all so I'm putting this on so it's nice and dark in the center I'm gonna go back with the same colors that I use to make the transient shades, the transition shades in the top. And I'm going to blend those colors in and then I'm going to use one of the better transition shades, like I said, just to kind of mix it. And then I'm going to find something to put in the center right here so we can just make our eye pop. Um, but I want to blend these out and blending really is the key. That's the one thing that I never really heard of until I started watching a lot of these like gurus really blending is the key and it's fantastic and you can tone it down. You can pick it up. You can make it bigger. You can make it brighter. You can tone it down, especially when you're going to work. I, um, I don't really care what people think of me. <laughs> I'm not going to say that out loud. I am saying that out loud because I don't. I am what I am and I'm not going to really back down for anyone. I have no problems with um, telling someone I was wrong though. So if I have that problem um, or if I know that I'm right, then I used to stand my ground and make probably an ass out of myself. But you know, that's the one thing about getting older that you'll learn to love is you learn to back down. <laughs> So there, that's the gradients. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put on um, some eyeliner, maybe some lashes, and then I will be ready for work. We'll do a lip one one of these days too. I love wearing lipsticks. I just ordered three new ones um, from uh, either ColourPop or Tarte. I can't remember which ones, but they should be here anytime. So I have some lippies coming. Um, the other thing that's on its way also is the August um, or August boxycharm that's going to come soon and I always love seeing what's in there so I can't wait. Um, I like these get ready with me's. Um, again if you have some makeup tips or anything that you want to see let me know there too and then again if you have any questions about MS let me know. Um, again I will let you know that I am here for you no matter what whether I don't feel good or, or do feel good. Um, if you want to offer words of support that's great too. I would appreciate it. Um, it's always nice to know that there's people out there who know exactly what you're going through. Uh, just instead of just being, you know, stuck to your family who knows what you're going through, it's kind of different. So, and then anyone out there who wants just some more makeup tips, um, 
the reason why I wanted to start this as well is because I do get the shakes. I have the spasticity a lot with MS. So I just want to show people you don't have to stop. I, I love doing my makeup. And as you can see, I have a lot of brushes and I'm, I'm doing a lot with it. And I am not going to let the shakes bother me. I don't take anything for them. Um, I used to, but I don't now. And I feel that I'm in a better place um, than I have been in a long time. So now I don't have to worry about the shakes, but I do shake. So the spasticity does get the best of me some days. And maybe those are not the days to put eyeliner on. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to see. We'll see. Anyway, so um, again, just let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks.